Hallelujah. Let us pray this afternoon. Most gracious God and loving Father, Baba wa neema na mpenzi, we are glad to be assembled under your atmosphere. Tunafurahi kusanyika chini ya uwepo wako. This atmosphere of redemption. Hii hali ya ukombozi. Thank you for that day on Calvary. Asante kwa kufa pale Calvary. That you have redeemed us by your own blood. Kwamba umetukomboa kwa damu yako mwenyewe. And brought us into a place where we could enjoy the blessings mahali ambapo tungefurahia baraka that you have shed your blood for kwa ambazo ulimwaga damu yako kwa ajili yake this time this our lord jesus na bwana katika saa hii we are looking to your mercy and grace tunatazamia neema yako na rehema zako help us to understand kwamba utusaidie kuelewa those things that we are hearing yale mambo tunayo ya Shaukia. because we believe kwa sababu tunaamini this message that you have sent to us huu ujumbe uliotutumia it's a rapture message ni ujumbe wa unyakuo we ought to follow the order of the word tunapaswa kufuata mpango wa neno if we have the holy spirit kama tuna roho mtakatifu then we line our lives with the word ndipo tutaweka maisha yetu sawa sawa na neno so may you help us to have knowledge hebu tusaidie tuwe na maarifa of the many things you require from ya mambo us mengi unayohitaji kutoka kwetu so that we can make ready ili tuweze kujitayarisha and we can be steady na tuwe thabiti for the coming of the lord kwa ajili ya kuja kwa bwana may you give those that haven't got the holy ghost hebu wapatie wale ambao hawajapata roho mtakatifu may this be a day they will receive the holy ghost hebu fanye wakapokea roho mtakatifu if there is any sick amongst us kama kuna mgonjwa yote miongoni mwetu may this day be a day of healing hebu siku hii kwa siku ya uponyaji if there is any backslidden amongst us kama kuna aliye rudi nyuma miongoni mwetu may it be a day of restoration hebu iwe siku ya urejesho wake we pray that you will touch the brethren Tunaomba kwamba utawagusa wa ndugu. Utawagusa wa hudumu. They have a great responsibility. Wana, ma, wana, wana majukumu makubwa. And the responsibility na majukumu is to keep the bride in line with the word. Ni kumdumisha bibi harusi katika mstari wa neno. They must not compromise with the word. Haipaswi wapatane na neno. Because we are looking for a bride. Kwa sababu tunamtafuta bibi harusi. Yule mteule wa Mungu. She will receive the word. Atapokea neno la Mungu. She will correct herself. Atajisahihisha mwenyewe. So help us at this time. Tusaidie wakati huu. Be with us. Uwe pamoja na Upake mafuta neno lako. Na sisi wanenaji. Na umtie mafuta msikizaji. Na tuje pamoja katika umoja wa imani. So that we can receive from God. Ili tuweze kupokea kutoka kwa Mungu. Bariki kuendelea kwa ibada hii sasa. Jesus mighty name. Kwa jina la nguvu la Yesu. And everybody said. Na kila mmoja aseme. Amen. 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 God bless you saints. Mungu awabariki watakatifu. Greetings to each one of you. Salamu kwa kila mmoja wenu. In the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Kwa jina la thamani la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Are we in the message? Je, tuko katika ujumbe? Are we in the message? Tuko katika ujumbe? We have a very strict message. Tuna ujumbe mnyoofu sana. To tailor our lives kubadilisha maisha yetu and adjust ourselves na kujirekebisha wenyewe to the standard of the word kwenye kiwango cha neno because this word that came through the prophet kwa sababu neno hilo kuja kupitia kwa nabii is a word for the rapture ni neno kwa ajili ya unyakuo amen amina so we have standards in the church kwa hiyo tuna viwango katika kanisa we have standards in the house tuna viwango katika nyumba we have standards at workplace tuna viwango katika mahali petu pa kazi and god is depending upon us na mungu anatutegemea sisi carry out the standards of the word kubeba hivi viwango vya neno in all different places kwenye haya maeneo mbalimbali so we could call ourselves the bride of jesus ili tuweze kujiita wenyewe bibi harusi wa yesu kristo so may god help us hebu mungu atusaidie to understand these things kuelewa mambo haya that when we keep the order of the word kwamba tunapodumisha utaratibu wa neno the spirit comes into the church ndipo roho atakuja kanisani because the holy spirit is here kwa sababu roho mtakatifu yuko hapa is here to vindicate the word yuko hapa kuthibitisha neno but if we break the standard of the word lakini tukivunja kiwango cha neno we will have a gathering of people tutakuwa tu na mkusanyiko wa watu without the holy spirit bila roho mtakatifu we are nothing without 
serve him sisi si chochote bila yeye we need him at every service kwa tunamhitaji yeye kwenye kila ibada when he comes here anapokuja hapa he will heal the people ataponya wagonjwa he will deliver the people deliver the people atawakomboa watu he will do all kinds of things atafanya mambo yote haya but we need to welcome him here lakini tunapaswa kumkaribisha yeye hapa to welcome him here na kumkaribisha yeye hapa we keep the order of the word tunapaswa kudumisha utaratibu wa neno it's a convention iwe ni mkutano whether it's a local assembly iwe ni kanisa kusanyiko la nyumbani the standard of the word tuna kiwango cha neno the cod Mwenendo taratibu na mafundisho. Ni utaratibu wa Yesu kwa ajili ya ibada. It must be done according to the word. Na inapasa ifanywe kulingana na neno. We cannot say we believe the prophet. Hatuwezi kusema tunamwamini nabii. Don't obey everything he said. Na hatua anatuheshimu kila kitu alichosema. We have to obey everything tunapaswa kutii kila kitu are we message believers je sisi ni waamini wa ujumbe by now lakini sasa we all should be matured tunapaswa kuwa wote waliokomaa there should be no greenness amongst us kunapaswa kusiwe na ukijani miongoni mwetu we just know how tunapaswa kujua jinsi gani wapi and how to please the lord na jinsi gani ya kumpendeza bwana so may god help us hebu mungu atusaidie i am happy to be here with you nina furaha kuwa hapa pamoja nanyi god's word with you kushiriki neno la mungu pamoja nanyi i am also grateful to meet all the pastors and ministers mimi pia nafurahi kukutana na wachungaji wote na wahudumu wote and cool workers of the gospel of jesus christ na watendakazi pamoja nami wa injili ya yesu kristo amen amina the Bible Bible says for through him Biblia inasema kupitia yeye we both have access by one spirit sote tuna njia kupitia roho mmoja unto the father kwenda kwa baba by one spirit kwa roho mmoja both of us sisi wote we have access tuna njia to the father ya kumfikia baba by one spirit kwa roho mmoja doesn't matter what color haijalishi rangi gani matter what nation haijalishi taifa gani by one spirit lakini kwa roho mmoja sisi wote got access to the father tuna njia kumfikia baba now therefore sasa hapa Paulo because of having access to the father kwa sababu tuna hii njia kufikia baba we are no more strangers and foreigners sisi sasa sio wageni tena but we are fellow citizens lakini ni wa, ni, wa, ni raia pamoja with the saints na watakatifu of the household of god wa nyumba yote ya Mungu we are built upon the foundations tumejengwa juu ya msingi of the apostles and the prophets wa mitume na manabii jesus christ Yesu Kristo yeye mwenyewe the chief cornerstone akiwa ndiwe jiwe kuu la pembeni haleluya so we are grateful today kwa tuna furaha leo through the baptism of the holy ghost kupitia ubatizo wa roho mtakatifu we become partakers tunafanyika washirika of the household of god wa nyumba yote ya Mungu god is our father Mungu ni baba yetu and we are his children na sisi ni watoto wake he gives the instructions yeye anatoa maagizo and we carry them out na sisi tunayatekeleza whether you like it or you don't like it uwe unayapenda au uyapendi we are not here to re- represent a church hatuko hapa kuwakilisha kanisa we are not here to represent an organization hatuko hapa ku kuwakilisha we are ambassadors of the same message sisi ni waamini wa ujumbe ule ule mmoja we are messengers of the same message sisi ni wajumbe wa ujumbe mmoja we are here to tell you the truth tuko hapa kuambia ukweli we are here to keep you in line with the word tuko hapa kuadumisha kwenye mstari wa neno we are here to put you on a journey to the kingdom tuko hapa kuweka kwenye safari ya ufalme hallelujah hallelujah so that's why you might find it difficult sometimes ndio maana unaweza kupata ni ngumu wakati mwingine hear the way god uses us kusikia au kufata njia ambayo Mungu anatutumia anatutumia kila mmoja wetu kwa njia tofauti so are we happy kwa tuna furaha right I, i don't think i'm going to preach because our time is already gone right? sifikiri kama naenda kuhubiri kwa sababu muda wangu umeisha but i'm just going to say some things yes lakini nataka kusema vitu fulani hapa just leave the preaching real preaching for later on kusoma mahubiri ya baadaye are we all happy Je, wote tuna furaha? Are we here? Je, tuko hapa? Are we in the message? Tuko kwenye ujumbe? I want to thank Pastor Kambaraj and his family. 
Nataka kumshukuru ndugu Kambarage na na kusanyiko hili for accommodating me the last time I was around. Kwa ajili ya kunikaribisha wakati uliopita nipo kwa bless the pastor and his family. Mungu ambariki mchungaji na familia. My stay with them was comfortable. Kukaa pamoja nao nilijisikia vizuri. And we really felt home. Na tulijisikia nyumbani. Also want to thank Pastor Arnold and his family. Pia anapenda kumshukuru mchungaji Arnold na familia yake. And the saints of his church. Na watakatifu wa kanisa lake. For the love and care. Kwa ajili ya upendo wao na kunijali. That they have given me. Ambao wamenifanya wamenitendea. When I have taken hill. When I was sick, wakati nilipokuwa mgonjwa. May God bless the pastor and his family. Mungu ambariki mchungaji na familia yake. And all those that helped me at that time. Na wale wote walionisaidia wakati ule. It was also a pleasure. Ilikuwa pia ni jambo zuri. Preach at Life Tabernacle. Kuhubiri katika maskani ya uzima. For Pastor Williams. Kwa kwa mchungaji William. God bless the pastor. Mungu ambariki mchungaji. And I'm also happy to meet all you ministers here. Na pia nafurahi kukutana na nyinyi wahudumu wote hapa. That is in the end time message. Ambao wako kwenye ujumbe wakati wa mwisho. It's a very high responsibility. Ni majukumu ya hali ya juu sana. We are not called to preach for money. Hatujaitwa kuhubiri kwa ajili ya pesa. We are not called to look for big buildings. Hatujaitwa kutafuta majengo makubwa. We are harvest time ministers. Sisi ni wahuduma wa wakati wa mavuno. We are here to look for the people tuko hapa kuwatafuta watu ambao majina yao yapo kwenye kitabu. We are not here to look for numbers. Hatuko hapa kutafuta watu wengi. We are here to look for the people tuko hapa kuwatafuta watu ambao majina yao yapo kwenye kitabu. Even if you got a small church hata kama ni kanisa dogo but every one of them lakini kila mmoja wao must make the rapture. Lazima apate unyakuo. May God help us. Mungu natusaidie. Even if you got five people in the church. Hata kama na watu watano kanisani. It is a church. Ni kanisa. Three people. Watu watatu. It is a church. Ni kanisa. So if you got a small church. Kwa wao na kanisa dogo. Don't feel bad. Usijisikie vibaya. Don't think that you are nothing. Usijifikie kwamba wewe si chochote. God has got you on the calendar. Mungu amekupata wewe kwenye kalenda yake. Amen. I also want to thank the pastor. Pia nataka kumshukuru mchungaji. I can't pronounce his name. Siwezi kutamka jina lake. Our brother from Congo. Ndugu yetu kutoka Congo. He has preached on the seventh seal. Amehubiri kuhusu muhuri wa saba. I don't know whether you understand it. Sijui kama ulielewa. Sometimes you can just say amen because Wak- somebody else is saying amen. Wakati mwingine unaweza kusema amina kwa sababu mtu mwingine amesema amina. Because all the mysteries kwa sababu mafumbo yote haya needs revelation yanahitaji ufunuo it needs prophetic insight yanahitaji macho ya kinabii it needs ability yanahitaji uwezo to hear from God wa kusikia kutoka kwa Mungu then you will understand the mystery ndipo utaelewa haya mafumbo otherwise you would not understand vinginevyo hutoweza kuelewa brother brana told us ndugu brana alituambia a man without the holy ghost mtu bila roho mtakatifu is blind to god and his word ni mpofu kwa Mungu na neno lake. So without the Holy Ghost. Kwa hiyo bila Roho Mtakatifu. You don't understand. Huwezi kuelewa ujumbe. Without the Holy Ghost. Bila Roho Mtakatifu. The mysteries go over your head. Yale mafumbo yatapita juu ya kichwa chako. You don't understand anything. Hutoelewa chochote. Brother Branham told us. Ndugu Branham atuambia. If we are preaching this message. Kama tunahubiri ujumbe huu. Without revelation. Bila ufunuo. Then we are preaching King's doctrine. Ndipo tunahubiri fundisho la Kaini. So Every pastor here kwa kila mchungaji hapa must be filled with the holy ghost lazima ajazwe na roho ya Mungu you must bring revelation to the church ndipo anaweza kuleta ufunuo kanisani the church is built kwa sababu kanisa limejengwa juu ya ufunuo wa Jesus Christ wa Yesu Kristo mwenyewe this is not the hour of theory hii sio saa ya nadharia the church needs revelation kanisa linahitaji ufunuo the revelation of the word ufunuo wa neno gives the church power unalipatia nguvu kanisa nguvu church authority unalipatia kanisa mamlaka over every devil juu ya kila popo not quotation upon quotation sio nukuu juu ya nukuu the devil knows all the quotations shetani anajua manukuu yote the revelation of that quotation lakini ufunuo wa hiyo nukuu the devil was shake brother shetani anatembeka 
of the way atatoka njiani the revelation unapopata ufunio devil moves out of the way satan anaondoka njiani hallelujah hallelujah amen amina so revelation kwa hiyo ufunuo always makes the difference mara zote ndio inaoleta tofauti if there is no holy ghost kama hakuna roho mtakatifu there is no revelation hakuna ufunuo so we need revelation kwa tunahitaji ufunuo to get revelation kupata ufunuo we need the baptism of the holy ghost tunahitaji ubatizo wa mtakatifu without the baptism of the holy ghost bila ubatizo wa mtakatifu you will not even understand the message hata kuelewa ujumbe hutoelewa the message is a mystery to you ujumbe ni ufumbo kwako amen Amina. We have to start to the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Inabidi tusimame kwa ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Sisi sote. All the preachers. Wahubiri wote. Because there were preachers before us. Kwa sababu kulikuwa na wahubiri kabla yetu. Who were preaching the message without the Holy Ghost. Walio kwa na ubiri ujumbe bila Roho Mtakatifu. You remember when Paul Unakumbuka wakati Paulo alikuwa anapita Efeso alikutana na baadhi ya wanafunzi akawauliza nyie wa ndugu mlitokea roho mtakatifu walikuwa wanahubiria watu lakini hawakuwa na roho mtakatifu That's why you find preachers today pulling out the guns and fighting and all. Ndio maana unapata wahubiri wanatoa mawari sana bunduki na kuanza kupigana kwa sababu hawajui Roho Mtakatifu. Okay, let's stay here. Okay. I'm not going to hurt you but I must tell you the truth. Sitowaumiza ila nitawaambia ukweli. Malachi chapter 4 Malaki sura ya 4 is finished now. Imeisha sasa. When prophecy is fulfilled wakati unabii umetimia it is history. Inakuwa historia. Hello? Hello? It is history. Ni historia. Brother Branham's day is over. Siku ya ndugu Branham imeisha. This is the bright day now. Hii ni siku ya bibi harusi sasa. This is our day now. Ambayo ni siku yetu sasa. Brother Branham was an example. Ndugu Branham alikuwa ni mfano for us to come. Kwa ajili ya sisi tulikuja. And he went away. Tulikuja na yeye kaondoka. We got the same message. Tuna ujumbe ule ule. And it's our time now. Na ni wakati wetu sasa. Hallelujah. Now we thank the pastor. Tunamshukuru mchungaji for the way he brought the word. Kwa jinsi alivyoleta neno. And I'm sure that when you hear thunders, na akatuonyesha unaposikia ngurumo, everybody gets scared. Kila mmoja anatetemeka, ana, ana anaogopa. When they hear lightning, wakisikia radi, everybody gets scared. Kila mmoja anaogopa. But you know when 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 the Lord appeared to John on the Isle of Patmos. Lakini unajua Bwana alipomtokea Yohana kwenye kisiwa cha Patmos. He told him listen John. Alimwambia sikiza Yohana. I am Alpha mimi ni w- and alpha and omega. Na mimi ni omega. I am the beginning. Mimi ni mwanzo and I am the ending. Na mimi ndio mwisho. This book of revelation. Wa hiki kitabu cha ufumu. Everything in this book here. Kila kitu kwenye kitabu hapa. about me. Kina nihusu mimi. Nobody else. Hakuna mtu mwingine. Me. Ni mimi. I am mimi ndiye the first and the last. Wa kwanza na wa mwisho. I will keep changing myself. Nitajibadilisha mwenyewe. I will put different masks. Nitavaa vinyago mbalimbali. But you must know it's me. Lakini wewe lazima unitambue mimi. Nobody will understand. Hakuna mwingine atayelewa. You got the revelation. Lakini wewe una ufumio. It is me. Ambao ni mimi. Now the pastor said na mchungaji alisema that the thunders is the voice of god kwamba ngurumo ni sauti ya mungu i stood up and said amen nilisimama nikasema amina i stood up and said amen nilisimama na kusema amina because i understood what he said kwa sababu nilielewa alichosema if you didn't understand kama hukuelewa and you just said amen na ulisema tu amina you missed the revelation ulikosa ufunuo he said the thunder is a voice of god Ali sema ngurumo ni sauti ya Mungu. Amina. Haleluya. 
I think it was a time when Lazarus died. Nadhani ilikuwa ni wakati Lazaro alipokufa. Mary kwa Mary and Martha. Mariam na Martha. They call for Jesus. Walituma kumuita Yesu. And he arrived there. Na alifika pale. And he asked them where have you laid him? Na akauliza mmemlaza wapi? And they took him to the place. Wakampeleka mahali. And the Bible says. Na Biblia inasema. When he came there. Alipofika pale. He cried with a loud voice. Alilia kwa sauti kuu. He cried with a loud voice. Alilia kwa sauti kuu. He cried with a loud voice. Alilia kwa sauti kuu. He thundered. Alinguruma. And when he thundered. Alipoguruma. He called Lazarus. Alimuita Lazaro. And Lazarus rose from the dead. Na Lazaro kainuka kutoka kwa wafu akafuka. Na ufunuo ulipokuja. That mighty angel coming down. Once put on the land. Mguu mmoja kwenye nchi. Mguu mmoja baharini. Na kalia loud voice. Kwa sauti kuu. That was a thunder. Hii ilikuwa ngumu. The bride. It was resurrection. Aita ufufuo. Come out from the denomination. Tokeni kwenye madhehebu. Come back to the word. Njoni kwenye neno. You see Unaona the thunder ngurumo is a voice of god ni sauti ya mungu the thunder ngurumo is a person ni mtu my voice sauti yangu is me ni mimi my voice sauti yangu is me ni mimi he all i stand at the door and knock tazama na simama mlangoni na gonga can hear the thunder kama mtu yote atasikia ngurumo Hallelujah. He opened the door. Akafungua mlango. When Moses went up the mountain. Musa alipenda juu mlimani. At Mount Sinai. Kwenye mlima Sinai. There was a cloud that came over. Kulikuwa na wingu uliokuja juu. It was thundering there. Kulikuwa na nguruma pale. It was lightning there. Kulikuwa na radi pale. And when Moses was coming down the mountain. Na Musa alipotoka mlimani kuja chini. Walimuuliza. Thunders all about. Hizo ngurumo zilikuwa nini? He showed them the word. Aliwaonyesha neno. The commandments. Amri. The voice of God. Sauti ya Mungu. He said this was a thunder. Akasema hizi ndio ngurumo. The voice of God. Hii ni sauti ya Mungu. Now I want to ask you. Sasa nawauliza. In the Bible. Kwenye Biblia. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. That the disciples. Kwamba wanafunzi were called. Waliitwa. They were known walijulikana waliitwa the sons of thunder wana wa ngurumo haleluya the disciples wanafunzi were called waliitwa the sons of thunder wana wa ngurumo whenever they had problem popote kulipokuwa na shida let's call the sons of the thunder walisema tuite tuwaite wana wa ngurumo waje so if the sons of thunder kwa hiyo kama wana wa ngurumo who will be the father nani atakuwa baba kama hani watoto wa ngurumo baba atakuwa ngurumo haleluya lore now let's shift that hebu tuhame hapa and when you and i become a voice wakati wewe na mimi tunafanyika sauti wakati wewe na mimi tunafanyika sauti ya Mungu who are you then wewe ni nani sasa who are you wewe ni nani you are the tender yourself wewe ni nguruma wewe mwenyewe you are the voice of god wewe ni sauti ya Mungu wewe ni tender wewe ni nguruma i want to tell you brother nataka kukwambia bibi devil in hell kila they kama ukuzima wanajua wewe ni nani wanapokuona wanajua ah They go one side. Wanaenda upande mwingine. They know. Kwa sababu wanajua. Panda here. Kwamba kuna nguruma hapa. Haleluya. Amen. Amen. So you see. Kwa hiyo unaona. As the pastor said. Kama mchungaji alivyosema. Those seven tenders. Hizo ngurumo saba are in the seven seals ziko ndani ya mihuri saba and the seven seals na hizo mihuri saba is the lamb's book of life ni kitabu cha uzima cha mwana kondoo na i remember many years ago na nakumbuka miaka mingi iliyopita when i was reading the seven seals wakati nilikuwa nikisoma mihuri saba i was going mad nilikuwa nakuwa kama kichaa i should run out of the house like a mad na kimbia kwa nyumba watu nazunguka i run into the kitchen na naenda jikoni nakimbia jikoni my wife up na mbeba mtangu juu and she'll say chris what are you doing na anasema chris unafanya nini revelation of my name is in kwa sababu nimeona ufunuo wa jina langu huko ndani kwa sababu nilikuwa na furaha sana ndugu yangu now 
Sasa, if you never read the seals yet kama hujawahi kusoma mihuri hapa you are not yet in the message bado hujaingia kwenye ujumbe the message is the seven seals ujumbe ni mihuri saba the message is the seven thunders ujumbe ni nguruvu saba you read the quotation the pastor put on the board umesoma zile nukumu mchungaji nilizoweka hapa in the Ephesians chapter 5 kwenye Ephesians sura ya 5 when the seven seals have been opened wakati mihuri saba imefunguliwa the seven mysteries will be revealed ndipo tuzile mafumbo saba yatafunuliwa kwa kanisa and the na kanisa will be worshiping itakuwa likimwabudu chini ya ngurumo saba sisi ni wabudu wa ngurumo saba usinizuie kwa mabudu usinizuie kwa sisi ni wabudu wa ngurumo saba haleluya do you understand mnaelewa hilo kama wewe utakaa hivi. No! Hapana bwana. Amina. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. So we worship under those standards. Kwa hiyo tunaabudu chini ya hizo ngurumo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? I also, I also want to congratulate this chorus leader. Let me shake his hand. Hebu nimpe mkono. This young man is anointed to sing song for the bride. Huyu kijana ametoa mafuta kuimba nyimbo kwa ajili ya harusi. May God bless you brother. Mungu akubariki ndugu. Your calling. Huyo ni mtu wako. God anointed you there. Mungu amekupaka mafuta hapo. Keep singing. Endelea kuimba. All of us will keep preaching. Wote sisi tuendelee kuhubiri. Come so take us home. Na Mungu atakuja kutuchukua kutoka nyumbani. Anointed by us. Huyu ni I like that old fashioned singing. Napenda kuimba kwa mtindo wa kale. I like that old fashioned religion. Napenda kuimba kwa mtindo wa kale. The oldest religion in the world. Ni dini ya mtindo wa kale. It started before the foundation of the world. Ilianza kabla ya msingi wa ulimwengu. And we going back there. Na tunarudi hapo. With the same way of serving the Lord. Kwa njia hiyo hiyo ya kumtumikia Bwana. God bless you as our brother. Mungu akubariki ndugu yetu. Now listen. Sasa sikizeni. The message of Malachi 4 ujumbe wa malaki 4 is a seventh seal message ni ujumbe wa muhuri wa saba brother branham was the messenger of that seventh seal ndugu branham alikuwa ni mjumbe wa muhuri wa saba his message is a rapture message ujumbe wake ni ujumbe wa unyakuo it's a transformation message ni ujumbe wa kubadilisha it's a change of spirit ni ukubadilishwa kwa roho change of heart kubadilishwa kwa moyo finally your body change halafu mshao mwili wako unabadilika body cannot change mwili hauwezi kubadilika if your heart never change kama moyo wako hujawahi kubadilika body cannot change mwili hauwezi kubadilika spirit never change kama roho haikubadilika now brother brother preach ndugu brother malihubiri impersonation of christian uigizaji wa ukristo he said people shout alisema watu wanapaza sauti people dance watu wanacheza people run Watu wanakimbia huko na huko. Watu wanahubiri. But the heart is not changed. Lakini moyo haujabadilika. The spirit is not changed. Roho haijabadilika. Therefore he taught us. Ndipo alitufundisha. You need a heart change. Unahitaji kubadilishwa moyo. You need a spirit change. Unahitaji kubadilishwa roho. Then you can shout. Ndipo unaweza kupiga mbele. Unaweza kuhubiri. You can run. Unaweza kukimbia. It's all in order. U, na yote yako kwenye utaratibu. Haleluya. This is a rapture message. Huu ni ujumbe wa unyakuo. It's a serious message. Ni ujumbe wa kumaanisha. How much of changes have you had since you've been in the message? Ni mabadiliko mangapi umekuwa nayo tangu ulipokuwa kwenye ujumbe? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How much of changes have you had since you have been in the message? Ni mabadiliko mangapi umeyapata tangu ulipokuwa kwenye ujumbe? Huu ni ujumbe wako. This message is your heritage. Huu ujumbe ni urithi wako. It does not belong to anybody. How much did you yote lakini wewe? How much did you discover? Ni mangapi umeyapata? What belongs to you? Ambayo ni ya kwako. Amen. Amina. You discover by going through the word. Unayetambua kwa kupita kwenye neno. You say this is mine. Na kusema hii ni yangu. This is mine. Hii ni yangu. This is mine. Hii ni yangu. The Holy Ghost is mine. Healing is mine. Uponyaji ni wangu. A better job is mine. 
Kazi nzuri ni ya kwangu. Haleluya. This message is a discovery channel. Huu ujumbe ni mkono wa kuvumbua mambo for a believer. Kwa mwaminio. Amen. Amina. Are we here? You cannot be in this message. Huwezi kuwa ndani ya ujumbe huu. And not change. Na usibadilike. The rapture is a revelation. Unyakuo ni ufunuo. Being in the message is okay. Kuwa ndani ya ujumbe ni sawa. But you need the revelation of the rapture. Lakini unahitaji ufunuo wa unyakuo. When you get the revelation of the rapture. Unapopata ufunuo wa unyakuo. You will be different from those in the message. Utakuwa tofauti kutoka na wale walio kwenye ujumbe. There will be a lot of people in the message. Kutakuwa na watu wengi kwenye ujumbe. When you get the revelation. Lakini wewe unapopata ufunuo. You will be different from other people. Wewe utakuwa tofauti kutoka kwa watu wengine. They can live how they want to live. Wataishi wanapata kuishi lakini wale can do what they can do huwezi kufanya wanaofanya because the revelation keeps you kwa sababu ufunuo unakudumisha the revelation holds you ufunuo unakushikilia the revelation keeps you in order of the world ufunuo unakuweka kwenye njia ya neno au utaratibu wa neno can live how they want to live This revelation Hufunuo, is not for anybody and everybody sio kwa yeyote na kila mtu but it is for the elect lakini ni kwa ajili ya wote ule amen amina you can't serve god without revelation huwezi kumtumikia mungu bila ufunuo you can't come in touch with your maker without a revelation huwezi kuwasiliana na muumbaji bila ufunuo amina Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen, God is calling a bride to perfection by his word. Sasa sikiza Mungu anamuita bibi harusi kwenye ukamilifu kwa neno lake. That seven seal is your perfection seal. Ule muhuri wa saba ni muhuri wako wa ukamilifu. And yet the seven seal is not a public seal. Na hapa tunajua muhuri wa saba sio muhuri wa hadharani. It's not for everybody in the message. Sio wa kila mmoja kwenye ujumbe. That's why some people say the seventh seal is not open. Ndio maana baadhi ya watu kwenye ujumbe wanasema muhuri wa saba hujafunuliwa. Kwa sababu sio kwa ajili yao. But for the elect. Lakini kwa wote ule. The seventh seal has been open. Muhuri wa saba umefunuliwa mte ule. So there's nothing wrong. Kwa hakuna kitu nje ya utaratibu. They say the seventh seal is not open. Kama wakisema muhuri wa saba hujafunuliwa, no hamna problem. shida. Hamna shida. Because the rapture is a secret. Kwa sababu unyakuo ni siri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have no problem with those brothers. Kwa hamna shida kwa hao ndugu wanasema hivi. God blinded them. Mungu aliwatia upofu. And opened our eyes. Na akafunua macho yetu. We are grateful to that. Tunafurahia kwa ajili ya jambo hilo. Don't believe the seven seal. Kama huamini muhuri wa saba. Don't believe the message. Huamini ujumbe. Because the message is the seven seal. Kwa sababu ujumbe ni muhuri wa saba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now what Jesus said. Sasa Yesu aliposema. In Matthew chapter 5. Katika Mathayo sura ya 5. Be you therefore perfect. Iweni wakamilifu even as your father in heaven is perfect. Kama baba yenu wa mbinguni alivyo mkamilifu. Watu wanasema siwezi kuwa mkamilifu. Kwa nini uwezi kuwa mkamilifu? Kwa nini unapenda kuishi kwenye dhambi? Kwa nini unapenda kutoa udhuru? Siwezi siwezi. Jesus said. Yesu alisema. Be you perfect. Kuwa mkamilifu. Even as your father. Kama baba yako. So if you got a father in heaven. Kwa hiyo kama una baba mbinguni. Come from the thought of God. Kama unatoka kwenye mawazo ya Mungu. God is your father. Kama Mungu ni baba yako. You got a DNA in your blood. Wewe una chembe ya uhai ya kwenye damu yako. You will reach perfection. Utafikia ukamilifu. You have to be perfect. Lazima uwe mkamilifu. Are you here? Hallelujah. Are you here people say brother I can't be perfect. Nimesikia watu wakisema ndugu siwezi kuwa mkamilifu. Stay there in grace. Ndipo utadumu hapo kwa neema. You can live in grace. Labda utakaa kwa neema. Na halafu uwe uwe aibu. God is calling a bride to perfection by his word. Mungu anamuita bibi harusi kwenye ukamilifu kwa neno lake. 
Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Are we here? Je, tuko hapa? As an attribute of God. Kama sifa ya Mungu. As a seed of God. Kama mbegu ya Mungu. You have a nature. Una asili. That's going to bring you to perfection. Ambayo hiyo asili itakuleta wewe kwenye ukamilifu. If you got no seed, kama huna mbegu, you can never reach perfection. Huwezi kufikia ukamilifu. Now, when you reach perfection, utakapofikia ukamilifu, let me explain this to you. Hebu nieleze hili kweli. So all you young people can understand. Ili nyie vijana muweze kuelewa. I started in the message. Nilianza safari yangu kwenye ujumbe. I didn't understand a lot of things. Sikuelewa mambo mengi. When I heard people talking about the thunders, I should keep quiet. Niposikia watu wakiongea nguruma nilikuwa nakaa kimya. Because I don't know what it is. Kwa sababu sikujua ni nini. When they talk about brother Junior Jackson's dream, walipoongea kuhusu ndoto ya ndugu Junior Jackson, I just sit quiet. Nilikaa kimya. Because I don't know. Kwa sababu sijui. I was just listening. Nilikaa hivi tu. I wanted to know these things for myself. Nitaka kujua haya mambo mimi mwenyewe. So I was going to church. Kwa nilikuwa naenda kanisani. I was praying. Nilikuwa naomba. I was serving the Lord. Nilikuwa namtumikia Bwana. I was listening to the tapes every day. Nilikuwa nasikiza kanda kila siku. Every moment I found. Kila wakati nilikuwa napata ambapo nilikuwa napata nilikuwa naweka kanda. I was sitting under the tree. Nilikuwa na kesi ya mti. Nilikuwa nasikia sauti ya nabii. Every time I had an opportunity. Kila wakati nilipopata nafasi. I was just serving. Nilikuwa namtumikia. Nilikuwa natumikia. From the outer court. Kutoka uh, ua wa nje from the outer court kutoka ua wa nje i came into the church ages nikaingia katika kanisa prophet said prophet said nabii alisema nabii alisema nabii alisema and then i went into the shekina na ndipo nikaingia kwenye shekina and when i went into the shekina nilipoingia kwenye shekina i now know this person nikamjua huyu mtu this person huyu mtu now listen to me sasa sikiliza hivi the brother said the when a man meets god Mtu anapokutana na Mungu he becomes a superman anafanyika mtu mkuu when a man meets god mtu anapokutana na Mungu becomes a superman anafanyika mtu mkuu live above all that's happening here yeah. utakuwa juu ya yote yanayotendeka hapa now, i know sasa najua i know this man najua huyu mtu everything about him is perfect perfect kila kitu kumuhusu yeye ni kikamilifu kamilifu kamilifu sasa maisha yangu ya kumtumikia yeye sio ya ua wa nje sio ya ua wa ndani ni ni kwenye utukufu wa shekina kwa sababu najua without perfection bila ukamilifu he won't allow me into the divine presence hata niruhusu niingie kwenye uwepo wa kiungu so everything around me kwa kila kitu kinachonizunguka kamilifu kikamilifu kikamilifu dressing perfect kuvaa kukamilifu kutembea kukamilifu my bed is perfect My prayer room is perfect. Chumba changu cha maombi ni kikamilifu. Everything my car must be spotless. Gari yangu kila kitu. No 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 dirt in my car. Hakuna uchafu kwenye gari yangu. Must be clean all the time. Kila sehemu inakuwa safi mara zote. Amina. Hello? Na hello? Hello? Are you in the outer court or inner court or are you there in perfection? Je, uko nje, uko E, kwenye ua wa ndani au kwenye utukufu wa shekina. So that's why when it comes to the church also. Hiyo ndio sababu tunapokuja kanisani pia. These musicians. Hawa wana muziki hawa. Sorry I'm telling you this. These musicians. Hawa wana muziki. Will never touch these instruments. Hawatagusa kamwe hivi vifaa vya muziki. They must be inside the tent there. Wanapaswa kuwa kwenye hema kule. I must hear them praying inside. Mimi lazima niwasikie wao wakiomba kule ndani. Kiongozi wa nyimbo. He must be in the tent behind. Anapaswa kuwa kwenye hema kule nyuma. He must be praying. Anapaswa kuwa akiomba. Akiongea na Mungu. Anapaswa kuwa kiabudu. Exactly on time. Kwa katika muda sahihi. Deacon must go and say brother. Shemasi lazima aende aseme ndugu. Can the musicians go to the place? Hebu wana muziki waende mahali pao. Unakuwa umeingia katika ule wakati wa kimya. That after now is reverence. Kila kitu kitakuwa katika utaratibu wa ukimya. No setting instrument in reverence time. Kila kila chombo katika 
hakuna ku, uh, hakuna kurekebisha vifaa kwenye wakati wa kimya you do that before reverence time unafanya hivyo kabla ya wakati wa ibada ya kimya amen brother we must take our traditions and throw them out Inabidi tuchukue taratibu zetu na tamaduni zetu tuzitupe nje. We are not a Zion people. Sisi si watu wa Sayuni. What time the service start? Ni ni muda gani baada inaanza? Ah 9:00. Ah saa 3. Ah okay I'll go up past 10. Okay nitaenda saa 3 dakika 10. You are a Zion believer. Wewe ni mwamini wa Sayuni. You are not a message believer. Wewe si mwamini wa ujumbe. A message believer. Mwamini wa ujumbe here before time. Atakuwa hapa kabla ya wakati. Proper change if you got the Holy Ghost. Kama una Roho Mtakatifu, you can wait for the door to open. Utakuwa nje huwezi kungojea mpaka ile ifungulie. Utakuwa pale ukimngojea Mungu. Brother sister, I, 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 I'm just telling you. Ndugu dada nawaambia tu. There at that place where I pastor the church. Mahali ambapo mimi ni mchungaji wa leo kusanyiko. Hatuchukui upuuzi kutoka kwa mtu yeyote. Kiongozi wa nyimbo anapokuja kuanza nyimbo. Young people are dancing in the Holy Ghost. Vijana wanaanza kucheza katika The Holy Ghost moves in the church. Roho Mtakatifu anatembea kanisani. Roho Mtakatifu halisi. Angels come inside. Malaika wanakuja ndani na kuondoka. You can't stop the presence of God. Huwezi kukomesha uwepo wa Mungu. This is a message of Malachi 4. Huu ni ujumbe wa Malachi 4. Malachi 4 died. Malachi 4 alikufa. But we got the same message. Lakini tuna ujumbe ule ule. We must keep the standards of the world. Lakini lazima tudumishe viwango vya ujumbe. So the Holy Ghost can come in the church. Ili Roho Mtakatifu aweze kuja kanisani. Amen. Do your own thing. Hello? 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 If you got the Holy Ghost, come on around to you keep the standard of the word. Unadumisha viwango vya neno. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My grandson is 11 now. Now he's 11. Mjukuu wangu ana miaka 11 sasa. He met the angel of the Lord two times in the church. Alikutana na malaika wa Bwana mara mbili kanisani. Two times he met the angel kanisani. of the Lord right in the church. Alikutana na malaika wa Bwana mara mbili kanisani. He was just crying and crying and crying. Alikuwa analia na kulia na kulia. Everybody was out of the church. Kila mmoja alikuwa nje ya kanisa. Yeye alikuwa bado amekaa mpale. Akilia. Akitetemeka. I don't know brother how you serving God. Sijui ndugu jinsi gani mtumikia Mungu. Amen. 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 God is calling a bride to perfection. Mungu anamuita bibi harusi kwa ukamilifu kwenye ukamilifu. Na ukamilifu ni kwa neno lake. Sasa unasema huwezi kuwa mkamilifu. Right. In Katika agano la kale it was law. Ilikuwa makosa. Amen. Amen. It was prophet 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 prophet. Ilikuwa nabii 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 nabii. It was all the law. Ilikuwa tu ni sheria. Until Jesus Christ came. Mpaka Yesu Kristo alipokuja. He was a full he was a fullness. Yeye alikuwa ukamilifu. He was a fulfillment. Yeye alikuwa ni kutimia of all that the prophets spoke about. Wa yale yote manabii walioyanena. And the moment Jesus appeared. Na muda Yesu alipotokea. The dispensation changed. Kipindi cha wakati kikabadilika. From law kutoka Torah it went to grace. Na kikaenda kwenye neema. Na under the dispensation of grace. Chini ya kipindi cha neema. We had messengers, 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 messengers. Tumekuwa na wajumbe, wajumbe, wajumbe. All the messengers that God gave us. Wale wajumbe wote Mungu aliyotupatia. Was under the dispensation of grace. Walikuwa chini ya kipindi cha wakati wa neema. But when Revelation 10:1, lakini wakati ufunuo 10:1, and Revelation 8:1, na ufunuo 8:1, Brother Brandon says that's the seventh seal. Ndugu Brandon anasema huo ni muhuri wa saba. But when Revelation 10:1, lakini wakati ufunuo 10:1, Revelation 8:1, na ufunuo 8:1, opened up vinapofunguka that seven seal huo umuri wa 7 revelation 
Ufunuo 11 heavenly angel yule malaika wa kimbinguni revelation 10:7 ufunuo 17 that earthly angel yule malaika wa duniani when the heavenly angel was coming down wakati yule malaika wa mbinguni alipokuwa anashuka chini he was coming down to the earthly angel alikuwa anakuja chini kwa huyu malaika wa duniani because according to Amos 3:7 kwa sababu kulingana na Amos 3:7 the lord our god bwana mungu wetu shall do nothing hata fanye chochote but reveal his secrets mpaka afunue siri yake he servants a prophet wake wa manabii so god cannot go against his own word kwa mungu hawezi kwenda kinyume na neno yake mwenyewe yule malaika wa kimbinguni came down to the earthly angel alishuka chini kwa malaika wa kiduniani handed him the book na akampatia kitabu now that changed the dispensation na kila kitendo kikabadilisha wakati grace kutoka neema now we enter the realms of perfection sasa tunaingia nyanja za ukamilifu because a dispensation changed now kwa sababu kipindi cha wakati kinabadilika sasa amen amina how are you je tuko hapa do we understand what we are saying je tunaelewa kile tunachozungumza the dispensation of grace has changed kipindi cha neema kimebadilika god is calling for perfection mungu anahitaji ukamilifu and brother brana told me na ndugu brana aliniambia if you want to do anything for god kama unataka kumtendea mungu chochote anything chochote you do it right kifanye sahihi or don't do it au usifanye kabisa because perfection has come in now kwa sababu kamilifu umekuja sasa there's no time to play hakuna wakati wa kucheza perfection has stepped in ukamilifu umefika umeingia right i said earlier nilisema mapema that the seventh seal kwamba muhuri wa saba is the bride seal ni muhuri wa bibi harusi amen amina Maybe the Lord must touch me to speak in your language. Labda Bwana ataniguusa ili ninene katika lugha yenu. I remember many years ago. Nakumbuka miaka mingi iliyopita. Nilikuwa nahubiri kule Zimbabwe. And the people were battling and the Lord touched my tongue. Na watu walikuwa kama vile wale Bwana kagusa ulimi wangu. And I was speaking in Shona. Na nilikuwa nanena Kishona. I don't know Shona. Sijui Kishona. But the Lord touched my tongue. Bwana agusa ulimi wangu. I'm preaching in Shona. Na nianza ku In Zimbabwe. Na Bwana aligusa ulimi wangu nikaanza kubiri Kishona kule Zimbabwe. Hallelujah. Huyo ndiye Mungu tunayemtumikia. I said earlier the seventh seal is the bride seal. Nilisema mapema kwamba muhuri wa saba ni muhuri wa bibi harusi. And our prophet said. Na nabii wetu alisema. The seal is from Genesis to Revelation. Mihuri inaanzia mwanzo mpaka ufunuo. Amina. I said I'm not preaching. I'm going to preach afternoon service. I'm preaching afternoon service. Nitahubiri baada ya mchana. I'm not preaching. Si 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 subiri hapa. Amen. That's why I asked you whether you believe the message. Ndio maana nilikuuliza umeamini ujumbe? The seal is from Genesis to Revelation. Mihuri inaanzia mwanzo mpaka ufunuo. Now we all know that Elohim sasa watu wanajua kwamba Elohim was self existing. Alikuwa yeye aishie peke yake. So nobody here kwa hakuwa na mtu pale call him Elohim now. Hakukua na mtu pale ambaye alikuwa anamuita Elohim. Because that is past. Kwa sababu hiyo ni wakati uliopita. Yeye sio Elohim sasa hivi. Ile ni kwa ajili ya wakati uliopita. He was a seven colored fountain. Yeye alikuwa ni chemchemi ya rangi saba. He was just a spirit. Alikuwa ni roho tu. What seven colors? Ikiwa na rangi saba. But in him, lakini ndani yake, he had attributes. Alikuwa na sifa. But all his attributes, his sifa zote was locked in him. Zilikuwa zimefungiwa ndani yake. So he can't do nothing. Hawezi kufanya chochote. But those attributes, lakini hizo sifa, they are running in him. Zinazunguka ndani yake. Now uh, uh, this is real to me. Hii ni halisi kwangu. Because my last born his name is Joshua. Kwa sababu 
Mtoto wangu wa mwisho jina lake ni Joshua. And we had four children. Na tuna watoto wanne. And we said we're not having another one. Na tukasema hatakuwa na mwingine. But this fellow was inside me. Lakini huyu mmoja alikuwa ndani yangu. And I was reading adoption. Na nilikuwa nasoma ujumbe wa kufanya wanaonyo mamlaka. And my wife lies here on my chest when she sleeps. Na mke wangu amelala hapa kifuani kwangu akiwa amelala. And I'm telling her. Na namwambia. Sweetheart. Mpenzi Joshua is in my blood he wants to be born. <laughs> Joshua yuko damuni mwangu anataka kuzaliwa. She said I will never have another child. Akasema sitokuwa na mtoto mwingine. I'm not going to wash napkins again. Sitaenda tena kuosha nepi za watoto tena. Suffer in the rain. Na kuhangaika kwenye mvua. I can hear Joshua saying he want to be born. Nikasema nasikia Joshua anasema anataka kuzaliwa. So for me, kwa kutoka kwangu, when brother Brennan says wakati ndugu Abraham anasema hivi kwa jini kwamba tulikuwa ndani yake for me is real kwangu mimi ni halisi kwa sababu nimepitia ujuzi wa jambo hilo let me just close that Joshua chapter hebu ngoja nifunge tu sura ya Joshua eventually she fell pregnant hatimaye akapata mimba she wasn't eating food for days now hakuwa kila chakula kwa siku nyingi alikuwa kilia na kulia na kulia hali chakula na sijui cha kumwambia so one day i was went to work i was working wakati nilipokuwa nikaenda kazi nilikuwa nafanya kazi nilikuwa nawaza hivi nitamzuiaje huyu mwanamke asilie nikapata wazo i jumped in the car nikaingia kwenye gari and i just came lunch time home nikaja wakati wa chakula cha mchana nyumbani just came i stop pump pump nikaja nikafika na piga horn pump pump got off the car nikatoka kwenye gari i can still remember nilikuwa bado na bado nakumbuka very windy ilikuwa ni wakati kuna upepo sana nienda nikagonga mlango akafungua mlango alikuwa analia i said ma'am can you please sit down nikasema unaweza kuketa ninataka kujua ni mtoto wa nani unayebeba kutoka ni mwanaume gani ulilala naye mpaka kama yake ndio sababu inakufanya ulie na kulia na kulia she stood up akasimama akasema hapana kibisi She said Chris this is your baby. Asa Chris hii ni mtoto wako. I said if God can take care of four children. Nikasema kama Mungu anaweza kushughulikia watoto wanne. Can take care of five children. Anaweza pia kushughulikia watoto watano. Akasema kutoka hapo. Stop all the nonsense. Akaacha ule upuuzi. Stop all the crying. Akaacha kulia. And she continued her life. Na akaendelea na maisha. And eventually that boy was born. Na hatimaye yule mvulana akazaliwa. I can tell you brother. Naweza kuambia ndugu From the time he was born kuanzia wakati alipozaliwa till he was the last grade in the high school mpaka wakati wake wa shule wakati wake wa mwisho wa shule yake ya sekondari himself and his mother yeye na mama yake they never saw eye to eye hawajawahi kuona jambo moja jicho kwa jicho they never saw eye to eye hawajawahi kuona mambo sawa sawa he was six years old alikuwa na miaka sita he tell me daddy Anambia baba I want to have a meeting with you and my mother today. Nataka mimi na we, mimi we na mama tukae leo. So in the evening. Ko jioni. The mother is sitting. Mama amekaa. I'm sitting here. Na mimi nimekaa hapa. And Joshua is sitting. Na Joshua amekaa hapa. Okay dad. Okay baba. You are my pastor. Wewe ni mchungaji wangu. I want to know. Nataka kujua. Does my mother have a right to beat me? Je, mama yangu ana haki ya kunipiga? for what i did kwa jambo niliyofanya because my brother bigger than me kwa sababu ndugu yangu kaka yangu ameniambia he did the same thing kaka yangu ambaye ni mkubwa kuliko mimi amefanya jambo lile lile my mother never beat him lakini mama yangu hajampiga yeye she beat me kwa nini ananipiga mimi hey brother sister ndugu dada he was a strong boy from a, from small age alikuwa ni kijana mwenye nguvu kuanzia akiwa mtoto mdogo but now he's a pastor there in my church now lakini sasa ni mchungaji kule kwenye kanisa langu sasa so we were in elohim kwa tulikuwa ndani ya elohim when he was self existing follow me quickly alipokuwa kiishi peke yake mnifuate sasa haraka then for, for elohim ndipo kwa elohim to express his thoughts ili aweze kuelezea sifa zake he condescended yeye alijifa alijipunguza au akajibadilisha akajibadilisha akajinimina kwenda kwenye logos the word body creation neno ule mwili wa neno la uumbaji he condescended 
alijishusha alijimimina from Elohim kutoka Elohim into the Logos ndani ya Logos now he was God sasa kitendo cha kutoka kwenye Elohim kwenda kuwa Logos akawa Mungu now where were you and me when he came into the Logos sasa wewe na mimi tulikuwa wapi alipoingia ndani ya logo Haleluya Haleluya Where was you and me Wewe na mimi tulikuwa wapi He came from Elohim into the logo Alipotoka kutoka Elohim akaingia ndani ya logo The word body creation of God Lile neno au ule mwili wa uumbaji wa neno wa Mungu Was you there Ulikuwa pale Was I there Je nilikuwa pale Right? Lakini Now, we was there. Tulikuwa pale. I was there. Nilikuwa pale. Now what is going to stop me? Sasa, kitu gani kitanizuia mimi to go back into that logos? Kurudi kwenye hiyo logos. Into that word body creation of God. Ndani ya hilo neno la uumbaji wa Mungu. I know I fell. Najua nilianguka. I bypass my theophany. Nilivuka nilipita pembeni ya theophany yangu. Nikaja kwenye Mungu. But Jesus died. Lakini Yesu alikufa. To make way for me. Kufanya njia kwa hali yangu. Back to my original state. Kurudi kwenye hali yangu ya asili. Come back into the logos. Kurudi kwenye logos. The super anointing. Ule upako wa hali ya juu. Be a super son of God. Kuwa ishara kuu ya Mungu. Not just a son. Sio mwana tu. But a super anointed son. Lakini mwana mwenye upako wa hali ya juu. going to stop me. Hakuna kitakachonizuia. No sin. Hakuna dhambi. No unrighteousness. No unrighteousness. Hakuna kutokuwa na no haki. Failure. Hakuna kushindwa. No problem. Hakuna shida. Is ever going to stop me? Itakayowahi kunizuia. I'm going back. Kurudi tena. To that word body creation of God. Kwenye neno la uumbaji wa Mungu. Listen to what he says in the Easter seal. Sikiliza kile alichosema kwenye lakiri ya Pasaka au muhuri wa Pasaka. Let's see brother you got that code there on the Easter seal. Hebu tuone kama ndugu anaweza. Yeah, what he says. Listen to what the messenger says. Sikiliza mjumbe anachosema. Hebu nisome pale. He says the Easter seal paragraph 259 Kwenye ujumbe muhuri wa Pasaka aya 259 There is enough devils in hell Hakuna mapepo ya kutosha kuzimu There is enough devils in hell Hakuna mapepo ya kutosha kuzimu Us from doing it Kukuzuia kutoka kutenda jambo hilo We were foreordained of God for this hour Tulikusudiwa kimbele na Mungu kwa ajili ya saa hii The word of God Neno la Mungu manifests itself linajidhihirisha lenyewe right through us ha, moja kwa moja kupitia sisi The word of God neno la Mungu manifests itself linajidhihirisha lenyewe right through us moja kwa moja kupitia And sisi we live in the presence of God na tunaishi kwenye uwepo wa Mungu by the word of promise of God kwa neno la ahadi ya Mungu in the devil in hell hakuna mapepo ya kuzimu keep me from rising yanaweza kunizuia nisiinuke in the door he can shut Hakuna mlango anaweza kuzunga. My face. Usoni pango. At that morning. Ile asubuhi. The seals have been broken. Mihuri imevunjwa. And he says hallelujah. Na anasema hallelujah. Amen. The seven seals is from Genesis to Revelation. Mihuri saba inaanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho. That is the bright seal. Ni muhuri wa ufunuo. Ah, ni, ni muhuri wa bibi harusi. Sorry. Now in there in the beginning. Naye kule mwanzo. That logos. Logos. He had a third pool ministry. Yes. Alikuwa na huduma ya kanda. 
Logos ministry is temple ministry. Ah, sorry. Alikuwa na huduma ya mvuto wa tatu. Huduma ya Logos ni huduma ya mvuto wa tatu. First pool and second pool can it be impersonated. Mvuto wa kwanza na wa pili yote inaweza kuigizwa. But the third pool lakini mvuto wa tatu cannot be impersonated. Hauwezi kuigizwa. The Logos ministry huduma ya Logos was a third pool ministry. Ilikuwa huduma ya mvuto wa tatu. It was a ministry. Ilikuwa huduma. He said let there be Alisema na iwe let there be 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 na iwe and whatever he said let there be na chochote alichosema kiwepo there was kikawepo amina haleluya the sun is there jua liko pale the moon is there mwezi uko pale the stars is there nyota ziko pale the solar system is there mfumo wa jua uko pale and the devil na shetani cannot interfere Hawezi kuingilia with spoken word ministry. Hawezi kuingilia huduma ya neno lililonenwa. Whatever was spoken. Chochote kilichonenwa. Devil cannot interfere. Shetani hawezi kuingilia the kati. The sun is there. Jua bado uko pale. Mwezi uko pale. Nyota uko pale. The system is there. Mfumo wa jua uko pale. Kwa mamilioni ya miaka and the devil cannot interfere. Na shetani hawezi kuingilia huu mfumo wote. Spoken word creation. Ni neno lililonenwa linaloumba. Amina. I'm not preaching. I'm only laying a background. Sihubiri naweka tu msingi. That supernatural ministry hiyo huduma ya kiungu ya kimbinguni started speaking things into existence ikaanza kunena mambo ya timi au ya wepo and they took the rightful place na, ika, na yale mambo yalionenwa yakapata mahali pao sahihi i said the seven seal is a bright seal ninasema muhuri wa saba ni muhuri wa bibi harusi the reason for that sababu kwa ajili hiyo in genesis 126 ni mwanzo moja shina sita god created man Mungu alimuumba mtu kwa sura yake mwenyewe. That means hiyo inamaanisha that was a spirit man. Kwamba alikuwa mtu wa roho. That means hiyo inamaanisha that was a theophanic man. Alikuwa ni mtu wa theophania. And then in Genesis 2:7, na mwanzo 2:7, God formed the man. Mungu akafanya mtu from the dust of the earth. Mtu kwenye magumbi ya ardhi. And the spirit man became flesh. Ndipo hiyo mtu akafanyika mtu. Yes. 
Hapo. So when the woman failed, she was taken of the name. Now in that message, blasphemous name, Brother Branham says there is blasphemous names and there is names of blasphemy. Na kuna majina ya kukufuru. Then he says blasphemous names. Majina ya makufuru. Is Methodist Baptist Presbyterian. Ni Methodist Baptist na Presbyterian. Now who is the names of blasphemy? Ni nani ambaye ndio mwenye hayo majina ya makufuru? Search the message. Tafuta huo ujumbe. Chunguza huo ujumbe. Find your salvation seriously. Hebu pata tafuta wokovu wako kwa makini. So now you can have an idea. Now you can have an idea. Sasa unaweza kuwa na wazo. That both of them had the same name. Wote walikuwa chini ya jina moja. So took her out of the name. Akamuondoa kwenye lile jina. And he still had her as wife. Lakini bado alikuwa naye kama mke wake. But this was a second covenant now. Lakini hii ilikuwa agano lingine la pili. Where the woman is subject to the man. Ambalo mwanamke anakuwa chini ya mwanaume. But we thank God for the revelation of the message. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya ufunuo wa ujumbe. That that's marriage and divorce was under the seals. 
na kwamba ndoa na taraka zilikuwa chini ya muhuri when god opened the shield mungu alipofunua mihuri he took the bride right back to the beginning alimchukua bibi harusi moja kwa moja mwanzo when man and woman is now equal mahali ambapo mwanaume na mwanamke wako sawa haleluya haleluya mko hapa we are not under the second covenant hatuko chini ya agano la pili right now redemption sasa ukombozi was introduced ulitambulishwa when the woman failed mwanamke alipoanguka now i want all of you to understand that sasa nataka wote muelewe god is calling a bride mungu anamuita bibi harusi for his name sake kwa ajili ya jina lake amina haleluya he is calling a people out of the gentiles anawaita watu kutoka mataifa to take his name kuchukua jina lake so that he and her ili kwamba yeye na huyu wafanyike Yesu Kristo wote wawili. Amina. I want you to understand. Nataka muelewe. That's what redemption is all about. Hicho ndicho kinachohusu habari ya ukombozi. It's to bring you and me. Ni kukuleta wewe na mimi. In the rightful place. Mahali petu sahihi. So when somebody see me ili mtu akiniona mimi amuone Yesu. And when somebody see Jesus. Mtu akiniona Yesu anione mimi. Sikiza anachosema. God's provided place. Can you put that on? Mahali pa Mungu yeah, alipopachagua. I'm closing now. I know you all angry. Ninafunga sasa najua wote mnanjaa. We must cut all the singing down a little bit now. Inabidi sasa tushushe tu, kuimba kidogo. I want you to start receiving the word. Nataka muanze kupokea neno. You can have special song service after the convention you can sing and sing. Mnaweza kuwa na nyimbo za kuimba na kuimba baada ya mkutano. But convention is to hear the word. Lakini mkutano ni kusikiliza neno. Because kwa sorry, sababu sometimes you sing you sing. Wakati mwingine unaimba 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 unaimba. And by the time you finish you tire. Na wakati umeanza kuimba umechoka. Now cut it down sasa ipunguzeni more time for the word wakeni wakati wa kutosha kwa neno right listen to what Tuna ujumbe ule ule wa Pentecost aliyokuwa nao. Kitu pekee sasa ni kwamba mihuri imeongezeka. Is that what the pastor said? Je, hicho ndicho mchungaji alisema? That means when I come into the message sasa kama ninakuja kwenye ujumbe I must first start with Luther's message lazima nianze na ujumbe wa Luther Luther's message is in this message Ujumbe wa Luther uko ndani ya huu ujumbe. Wesley's message is in this message. Ujumbe wa Wesley uko ndani ya huu ujumbe. Pentecostal message is in this message. Ujumbe wa Pentecostal uko ndani ya huu ujumbe. So when I come into the message. Kwa ninapokuja ndani ya ujumbe, I must take out all Luther's message. Lazima nichukue ujumbe wote wa Luther. The just shall live by faith. Mwenye haki ataishi kwa imani. Perfect faith. Imani kamilifu. By faith Moses. Kwa imani Musa. I must take out all the faith message. Lazima nichukue ujumbe zote za imani. And I must read it lazima nizisome hello hello so i now start getting faith sasa naanza kupata imani na naanza kupata nguvu ndipo naenda kwenye ujumbe wa wesley sanctification kutakaswa then i take all 
ndipo nachukua jumbe zote blood related messages jumbe zinazohusiana na damu redemption by blood ukombozi kwa damu redemption by power ukombozi kwa nguvu the token message chukua ujumbe wa ishara jumbe zote that is blood related ambazo zinahusiana na damu then i start itching it and lazima ni zile ni zile then i finish luda na maliza luther i finish wesley na maliza wesley now i'm going to take the pentecostal message sasa nachukua ujumbe wa pentecost all the pentecostal messages jumbe zote za and after you get the holy ghost now you enter sasa unaingia son of man mwana wa adam perfection ukamilifu haleluya thank you jesus now lot of people in the message sasa watu wengi kwenye ujumbe they came straight to son of man wanakuja moja kwa moja kwa mwana wa adam and they don't understand the message na hawaelewi huu ujumbe The pastor is preaching on the seventh seal. Mchungaji anahubiri mihuri 7. Hallelujah. God is speaking. Mungu ananena. Somebody prayed earlier. Mtu fulani aliomba hapa kabla. And said Lord speak to us. Na akasema Bwana tunenene. Somebody said amen. Kila mmoja akasema amina. But when God is speaking, lakini Mungu anaponena, some people are sleeping. Baadhi ya watu hapa wanalala. Oh God have mercy. Help us Lord. Hallelujah. Brother, if I give you this mic to preach. Ndugu nikupa hii microphone ubiri. Huwezi kukaa hivi. Baba, if I give you this mic you're going to sit like this. Nikikupa hii mic utakaa kama hivi. No, hapana. Utakao kienda hivi. Now when I'm preaching. Sasa ninapohubiri. Amen. Why are you sitting like this? Kanuna ka hivi useme ya mimi. You have the same spirit that I got and you got. Ina pesa uwe na roho hiyo ni wewe naye na wewe naye na pili. One another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And everybody in the church should be the same. Na kila mmoja kanisani apasa awe hivyo. Hallelujah. Don't worry about me because I'm an Indian. Usini hofu mimi kwa sababu There's a voice inside of me. Kuna sauti ndani yangu. There's a God that lives inside. Kuna Mungu anaishi ndani. Let me tell you. Hebu nikwambie. I saw crippled people walk. Nimeona viweta wakitembea. Nimeona vipofu wakiona. I saw prostitutes get changed. Nimeona makahaba wakibadilishwa. I saw the lives of sinners. Nimeona wenye dhambi one time. Nimeona maisha yenye dhambi yakila kwa mara moja. Huyo ni Mungu yuko hapa. He's inside here. He somewhere here. Yuko mahali fulani hapa. This message is not a book book book. Huyo jumbe sio kama kama kitabu hiki. It's a manifestation. Huyo jumbe ni madhirisho ya Mungu. This is a message. Huyo ndio ujumbe. Haleluya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Are we here? Je, tuko hapa? Now the bride Sasa bibi harusi must be supernaturally related. Anapaswa awe na uhusiano kimbinguni au kiungu. After God created everything. Baada baada ya Mungu kuumba kila kitu, everything was in his place. Kila kitu kilikuwa mahali pake. Then he takes the man. Hebu nichukue mtu he huyu. Adam. Nichukue Adam. I want to give you a ministry. Nataka nikupe huduma au kazi. The ministry of Adam, huduma ya Adam was connected to the creator. Ilikuwa imeunganika na muumbaji. So the creation and the creator, kwa hiyo maumbile na muumbaji now become one. Yamefanyika mmoja. The creation, maumbile, the creation, maumbile is wearing the mind of the creator. Au viu maumbile au viumbe vina asili au nia ya muumbaji. Na alisema Adam, you see all these things I created. Unaona vitu vyote hivi nimeviumba. Now you give them names. Sasa wewe vipatie majina. Hallelujah. 
because Adam had the mind of God. Kwa sababu Adam alikuwa na nia au akili ya Mungu. He looked at that animal. Alitazama mnyama. And he said I call you lion. Akasema nakuita simba. He looked at that animal. Anamwangalia mnyama mwingine. He said I call you monkey. Akasema nakuita nyani. He looked at that. Anamtazama mwingine. He said I call you snake. Nakuita nyoka. Every animal on the face of the earth. Kila mnyama usoni pa nchi. Was named in a ministry. Alipewa jina lake kupitia kwenye huduma. I want you to understand. Nataka muelewe. That the bride's ministry. Kwamba huduma bibi harusi. Must be connected. Lazima iunganike. Directly to Christ. Moja kwa moja kwa Kristo. That is a ministry of the bride. Hiyo ni huduma ya bibi harusi. Did you hear that? Je, umesikia hilo? That's why when it came to brother Brana. Ndio maana alipokuja kwa ndugu Brana. Let me close here. He was the first sheaf waved over the bride. Alikuwa mganda wa kwanza uliotikiswa kwa bibarusi. Alipokuja kupitia yeye. Alisema ndugu wangapi wameponywa? Wangapi walikombolewa? And he said you know who I'm waiting for? Na sasa mnajua namsubiria ngaji. I'm waiting for the angel. Namsubiria malaika. And when that angel comes. Na malaika alipokuja. He stands behind brother Branham like this. Ana alikaa nyuma ndugu Branham ndio namna hii. Brother Branham says one day angel and shrouds me. Nugrana sema yule malaika alikuja akanikumbatia. I am a voice of God to the people. Sasa mimi ni sauti ya Mungu kwa watu. When the angel and shrouds me. Malaika aliponikumbatia. Brother can you stand up? Mungu anaweza kusema sasa. Dada anaweza kusema sasa. Hii ni kwa sababu Jesus Christ again. Kwa sababu ni Yesu Kristo tena katika mwili wa mwanadamu. Now all our brothers here. Sasa wa ndugu wote hapa. Brother Branham died in 1965. Ndugu Branham alikufa mwaka 65. Brother Branham died 1965. Ndugu Branham alikufa mwaka 65. And he died. Na akafa. So the message died. Kwa ujumbe alikufa. No 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 no. Brother Branham died. Damana alikufa na ujumbe ukafa. Hello? Uh, Hello? Now when the angel appeared to the prophet in 1933, sasa malaika alipomtokea nabii mwaka 1933 on Ohio River, kwenye mto Ohio. He said as John the Baptist foreran my first coming. Alisema kama Yohana Mbatizaji alivyotangulia kuja kwangu kwa kwangu. Your message. Ujumbe wako. Not you. Sio wewe. There are other brothers after you. Kuna wanduku wengine baada yako sio wewe. Ujumbe wako. Well, for and my second coming. Utatangulia kuja kwangu so kwa pili. Brother Brennan died. Kwa ndugu Brennan alipokufa. Let it be understood brother Ren. Hebu ieleweke wanduku. Kwa sababu brother Ren. Kwamba sisi ndio wanduku. The same time message. Kama tunahubiri ujumbe wa Yesu. An experience with a pillar of fire. Tunahitaji ujuzi na nguzo ya moto. We need an experience with the angel of the Lord. Tunahitaji ujuzi na malaika wa Bwana. Continue this commission. Kuendeleza hili agizo. Where brother Brennan died. Ndugu Brana alipokufa. Sasa tumeingia. Continue the same work. Na tunaendelea kazi hizo hiyo. The same God will be in the church. Mungu huyo huyo atakuwa kanisani. Haleluya. Haleluya. That's right brother. brother. Amen. Not because not because you understand the message you are preaching. Usiniambie kwa sababu naelewa ujumbe wewe nimehubiri. Not because you, uh, uh, you know better than me. Si kwa sababu tunajua mengi no kuliko mimi. Hapana Bwana. God called men. Watu walioitwa na Mungu. When we need a revival, tunapohitaji uongozi. We cannot have a revival. Hatuwezi kuwa na uongozi until we get men. Mpaka tupate watu walioitwa na Mungu. Waliotaguliwa. Waliotauliwa na Mungu. Waliotaguliwa na Mungu. Waliofundishwa na Mungu. Watu in the presence of God. Kwenye uwepo wa Mungu. And the church will have a revival. Ndipo kanisa litakuwa na uwezo. These God called men. Bila watu walioitwa na Mungu. No revival. Hakuna uamsho. Hallelujah. 
Halleluja. There is no revival. The revival is when God brings a man Give him tests and trials. And prove the man. When he can stand the man. And God takes that man. Wherever he sends that man. It's fire. 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 Hallelujah. The same God of William Branham must be here again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You see where we are, brother? Can you see what we're talking about? That's a supernatural ministry. It's not just a ministry. It's a supernatural ministry. Let me just close here. Let me just close. We didn't even come to our subject. But let's just close. Stay in line with the message the pastor said yesterday. Stay in line with the word. Don't break the rules of the word. Our God is not dead. He's alive. I didn't come here to preach. I came to bring God to you people. But put water straight here. Do things according to the word. And God will reveal himself. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. The bride's ministry is supernatural. The message itself is supernatural. Amen. Amina. The angel of the Lord came down. Malaika wa Bwana alishuka chini. Can I hear an amen? Je, naweza kusikia amina? Came down with your title deed. Alikuja chini na hati yako ya miliki. Alikuja chini na kitabu cha ukombozi. Came down. Alikuja chini. Now I want to tell you why he came down. Nataka kukuambia kwa nini alishuka chini. Can I tell you something? Naweza kukuambia kitu fulani? Now let me just give you one testimony. Hebu nikupe ushuhuda mmoja. Can I give you one testimony? Je, naweza kuapa ushuhuda mmoja? About three months ago. Kuhusu miezi mitatu iliyopita. We went to cast out a demon, an adultery demon. Tulienda kutoa pepo wa uasherati. The lady fell on the floor. Yule bi, yule mwanamke alianguka. She was moving like a snake. Na alikuwa anatembea kama nyoka. Right out of the house she's moving. Ku akutoka nyumbani anatembea kama nyoka. Snake. Nyoka kabisa halisi. And we let her go as she came outside we stopped in front. Na tulimwacha ile alipotoka tukasimama mbele. Shetani, tukasema shetani. You're not moving one inch from here. Huwezi kutembea, usitembe, usitoke inchi moja kutoka hapa. The devil must know who I am. Shetani lazima ujue mimi ni nani. The devil knows what kind of life I live. Shetani anajua aina ya maisha ya mimi. Me all the time. Ananiangalia kila wakati. And I know that he's watching me. Mimi najua ananiangalia. And I stood there and I said Satan. Nipo swali kasema Shetani. Come out of this woman. Toka kwa yule mwanamke. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. I release you from this woman. Na kuondoa kwa yule mwanamke. And that woman. Na yule mwanamke. Akatetemeka. And the devil left her. Na yule pepo akamwacha. Now the brother picked her up. Wa ndugu akamshika and we left her. Na wakamuinua. So I teach my children. So that when we go casting out demons. Don't just go home. Come to daddy's house. Let's have a time of prayer first. Because those demons they follow you. They give you trouble at home. So come by daddy's home. Let's go in the prayer room. And let's worship our father. Let's pray and thank God. Because the victory. The victory. Let's pray. 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 Let's pray light a little bit nili, nili, nili wa taki dogo. and i was tired now na nilikuwa nimechoka i just sat down on the city nilikaa chini tu na mna hii my shoes off and i put my legs like this nikaondoa viatu vyangu na nikaweka miguu yangu hivi and my wife was sitting na mke wangu alikuwa amekaa kama pale and she said chris na akasema chris i need to talk to you nataka kuongea na wewe then i said uh, okay sweetheart you can go on nikasema okay mpenzi unaweza kuendelea she was crying 
alikuwa analia. And then I said, why are you crying? Nikasema kwa nini unalia? And she said last night about 2 o'clock in the usiku wa jana saa 8 usiku. I needed to use a toilet. Nilitaka kwenda chooni. I used a toilet. Nikaenda chooni. And I came back to bed. Na nikarudi kitandani. Now just restless. Sasa sikuweza kupumzika. And I was wondering why I was so restless. Nikasema nilikuwa akasema alikuwa anajiuza kwa nini siwezi kupumzika. She said suddenly. Akasema ghafla. I saw an angel standing. Nikaona malaika amesimama. Right by the bedside. Karibu na kitanda. And he told me. Na akaniambia. I am not happy with you. Si sijafurahia, sijafurahii na wewe. The way you talk to my servant. Jinsi unavyoongea na mtumishi wangu. Na akaanza kulia. I'm just wondering when. Na najiuliza kwa lini? We were young we had arguments and all that. Wakati tulikuwa wadogo tulikuwa na mabishano na namna fulani. We just cry. Alikuwa analia tu. And I was wondering when. Na nilikuwa najiuliza lini? Lini? And then the angel said to her. Na malaika kama I am not also I am not happy also. Sifurahi pia you are touching my servant's wallet unagusa pochi ya mtumishi wangu you see among us when we go to bed or something we leave the wallet in the kitchen or somewhere tunapoenda vitandani kulala huwa tunaacha wallet zetu jikoni au sehemu fulani by us the vans go past all the time pom 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 kwetu karibu na nyumba yetu magari yanapita kila wakati potatoes tomatoes chicken wanauza ni yale magari wanauza vitu vidogo vidogo nyanya na nini just in case the wife need to buy some naacha walet yangu mezani pale ili kama mke wangu tataka kunywa chochote lakini malaika kamwambia don't touch the wallet of my servant usiguse pochi ya mtumishi wangu brother sister i married to this woman 45 years ndugu dada nilioa huyu mwanamke miaka 45 years games in this message hatuchezi michezo kwenye huju we are serious tunamaanisha i went to her i said sweet out i can i come be she said these words chris akasema maneno ya chris i want to make heaven my home nataka kufanya mbinguni pale nyumbani kwangu and she was just crying na alikuwa analia tu i want to tell you nataka kuambia that angel goes with me everywhere i go huyo malaika anaenda na mimi kila mahali napoenda i don't go because i want to go and preach siendi kwa sababu nataka kwenda kuhubiri when he allows i go akiruhusu yeye ndipo mimi naenda and if the people are right na kama watu wako sahihi and they set the platform right na ameweka maandalizi sawa sawa you see William Branham walking up and down utamwona William Branham akitembea juu na chini hapo that's the God we serve who Mungu tunamtumikia he's a god that is real ni Mungu aliye halisi when we pray we pray real tunapoomba tunaomba halisi we know who we are talking to tunaona tunajua tunayemzungumzia this is a message huu ni ujumbe and that god is real na huyo mungu ni halisi now you want to know why he came down sasa nataka kujua kwa nini alishuka is looking for the people whose name is in the book anatafuta watu wenye majina yao kwenye kitabu eh ngoe ni kome hapa Una, unataka kujua kwa nini alishuka? Enoko alitembea pamoja na Mungu na hakuonekana tena. Elia alitembea pamoja na Mungu na hakuonekana tena. Sasa alikuja chini kumtembeza bibi harusi wake kwenda nyumbani. Kwaana mchukua huyu ndugu and he walks through him. Na anatembea na yeye. He takes that brother. Ana mchukua huyu ndugu. He walks through him. Na anatembea na yeye. Ana mchukua huyu dada. He walks through him. Na anatembea pamoja naye. We are going to walk no more. Tutatembea mpaka hatutaonekana tena. God bless you. Mungu awabariki, Mungu awabariki, Mungu awabariki. Let me give the service over. Mungu awabariki. Hebu nirudishe ibada. I leave this pulpit. Let me say this. All you young brothers, do, do something for God. But don't make yourself a preacher. Lakini msijifanye kwa mtu. Make yourself a pastor. Msijifanye kwa mtu. Mungu must make you a pastor. Mungu akufanye wewe mchungaji. Mungu must make you a preacher. Mungu akufanye wewe mchungaji. Read books and pray for people. Leo tu tu vitabu na uombe watu. Until mpaka God makes you one. Mungu akufanye hivyo. Make yourself one. Msijifanye kwa mtu. You never be successful. Hutoweza kufanikiwa. This message. Sio kwenye ujumbe. This message. Who do you must meet the pillar of fire? Lazima tukane na nguzo ya moto kama Musa alivyofanya Amen that's true 
When Jesus was born, yes, the angels came from heaven. Malaika walikuja kutoka mbinguni. They were singing. Na walikuwa naimba. To who they were singing? Walikuwa wanamwimbia nani? To the shepherds. Kwa wa wachungaji. And to you this day. Kwenu mimi leo hii. Born in Jerusalem. Amezaliwa Yerusalemu. Mji wa David. Mji wa Daudi. The angels came and visited the Ma- shepherds. Malaika walikuja kwa wachungaji. All the shepherds. Wachungaji wote. Must have a supernatural calling. Lazima wawe na mwito wa kimbinguni. The supernatural bride. Huyu bibi harusi ni bibi harusi wa kimbinguni. Supernatural things must take place. Mambo ya kimbinguni lazima yatendeke miongoni mwa watu. Naanza kuniambia naendesha gari yangu naenda njia hii. Tell me why I'm driving my car. Na naanza kuniambia wakati naendesha gari yangu. That certain girl in the school. Huyo bibi fulani shule. Why are you doing that? Anafanya hivi na anafanya vile. I pull my car off and I phone. Na na weka gari yangu pembe na napiga simu. Na naanza kuniambia hii. Sijeni mimi. Hello. Hello. Hello brothers here. Yeah. Hello wa ndugu wako hapa? Je, mko hapa wote? This message is for us. Huu ujumbe ni kwa ajili yetu. The rapture is going to take place in our day. Uju, unyakuwa utatenda utatokea katika siku yetu. It couldn't take place in brother Branham's day. Usingeweza kutendeka katika siku ya ndugu Branham. It take place in our day. Utatendeka katika siku zetu. So we need supernatural ministries. Kwa tunahitaji huduma za kimbinguni. Born under the administration of the angel. Zimeza zilizozaliwa chini ya Yesu Mwanaika. Kuinua kanisa. And put her in a place. Na kuliweka mahali pake. Ukiwaombea watu na, waka, na uka, ukawapo vitabu na ukaombea wakapona wewe sio mchungaji. Kila mmoja anaweza kufanya hivyo. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Siko kinyume na yeyote akili Tunaelekea unyakuo ndugu yangu. The rapture is upon us. Unyakuo huko juu ya people. Watu wetu. Our young people. Vijana wetu. The married people. Na watu wetu wanaokuolewa. They must be ready for that translation. Lazima wawe tayari kwa ile responsible before God. Mimi nawajibika mbele za Mungu. To ensure that these people are right. Kuhakikisha hawa watu wako sawa sawa. Amen. May God bless you. Bwana na wabariki. Let's stand to our feet. Tusimame kwa miguu yetu. Can I end the service to the pastor? Na ninarudisha huduma kwa mchungaji. Can we close our eyes and bow our heads? Je, tunaweza kufunika Uh, macho yetu na kuinamisha vichwa vyetu Praise God Asante Bwana Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Wonderful Jesus We appreciate you We Lord. give you all the praise Tunakupa sifa zote We give you all the honor Tunakupa heshima The message of Malachi 4 King Ujumbe wa Malachi 4 establish a oneness between man and God Kuweka umoja kati ya mtu na Mungu Because it was a ministry of reconciliation Kwa sababu ilikuwa huduma ya upatanisho It was not to bring us to the message or to the church Ilikuwa sio kutueta kwenye ujumbe au kanisani We have to come in contact with our maker Ili pasa tu fikie mawasiliano na muumbaji wetu Baba wakati huu If there are people here in the message Kama kuna watu hapa katika ujumbe They are sitting a long time in the message Ambao wana muda mrefu kwenye ujumbe And have never come in contact with Na hawajawahi kukutana na wewe May you place in their hearts Hebu a desire Hebu uweke mioni mwao shauku to come to know you Waje wafikie mahali pa kujua wewe To know you it's life Kukujua wewe ni uzima To know you it's power Kukujua wewe ni nguvu Oh God to oh, know you Oh Mungu kukujua wewe It's a pregnation of the word ni kutiwa mimba kwa neno it will make us different lord itatufanya tofauti bwana we'll be in the same message sisi tukawa katika ujumbe huu we'll be so different from other people tutakuwa tofauti na watu wengine our prayer life maisha yetu ya maombi will be so high yatakuwa ya juu sana when a man prays when a man prays wakati mtu anaomba we We know what is in touch with God. Tutajua kama kule amekutana na Mungu. We know whether they got the family altars at home. Tutajua kama wana wana madhabahu nyumbani kwao. This message came to make us different. Huu jumbe alikuja kutufanya tofauti. Walk different. Tuitembe tofauti. Walk different. Tuishi tofauti. It's a high profile message. Ni ujumbe wa kiwango cha juu. It's a pride message. Ni ujumbe wa bibi harusi. So Lord help your people. 
Those men of God help them to come in touch with you. We can't deliver messages without it coming from God. We can't read and just preach. The church needs a revelation. The church needs inspiration. Three men of God lay in the presence of God. Get answers from God. Bring revelation from God. There's a power behind that revelation. May it strike home. Help every person. From the pulpit to the liaison, the musicians mshito. and the chorus leaders, Wale wana na and every one of us, na kila we heard about that seven seeds. Prophet says, What good it is to hear good sermons and not be a part of that seven seeds. We want to be a part of that seven seeds. We want to be a part of that seven seeds. We need seven. to be a part of you. Tuna Help us, Lord. May the Holy Spirit navigate our lives. Put a desire. Put determination. Put courage. Put ability. This message is to make us different. Keep us in line with your word. We command all these things to you. Bless your children, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.